Hey guys, this is your video for the week. Uh, so I just wanted to talk to you about some stuff. There are a lot of people who did not do their assignment this week and that is a problem because if you have not heard about the new grading policy, grades are now pass fail. So uh, when you go into Skyward, you will see in each of your classes this week under the progress report grade, you will either see a P or an F. So you're either doing the work and passing or you're not doing the work and failing. And at the end of the semester, that P or that F, that F will become either a 100 or a 69. So if you do your work for the next six weeks or whatever we have left, you can help yourself out tremendously and end the semester with a 100 for my class, for all your classes if you just, you know, do the work. So I highly recommend that you do that. So uh, some other things that you may not know about, uh, school is working on prom refunds. So they will reach out to you and tell you how that you can get your money back for your prom ticket. Uh, graduation will probably be June 23rd. It is a Tuesday. So that means that we will do practice on Monday, June 22nd, and then graduate at 10 a.m. on that Tuesday. Um, we do have your senior gifts. We are going to get those to you. So it'll probably be one of those things where just like picking up school lunch where you just drive up to the school that you'll be able to drive up and get your senior gift. And the district is also making uh, We Love Class of 2020 yard signs. So I think you'll get one of those as well. So there'll be more information coming about that. Uh, the district sent out the grading policy about GPAs and you know top 10 and all of that stuff so go look at that uh, there will not be a final exam so the week 9 assignment will be a week 9 assignment so again just keep up with your work and then you'll be fine so I'm going to show you your assignment for this week we are doing a project over your entire book that you know we started back in February so I sincerely hope that you have finished reading it by this point. So it, your project is going to be what's called the character autopsy. In other words, you are analyzing your main character through all of their different body parts. So all you're gonna do, type in book title, author's name, main character's name, okay? Then from your choice book, okay? Choose a main character to analyze using the following character traits. Your answer for each box should be thorough, two to three sentences, and should include a reason for why you answered that way, okay? So example, the question, what are the dreams, ideas, or aspirations of the character, okay? If my character was Ellie from Night, okay, then I would say Ellie dreams of the day he and his father will be released from the concentration camp. I say that because he never gives up, he never gave up trying to live, Okay, so it's text evidence, but it's not quote text evidence, but it still has to be specific enough from the story to count as text evidence. Right, so your questions for head should represent what this character loves the most. So dreams, ideas, aspirations. So you answer the question and, and have a reason why. What are the moral beliefs of the character? Then eyes, seeing the conflict, setting, and other characters and events. What conflicts did the character witness that had an effect? How was the character affected by those events? Ears, hearing the relationships, conflicts, events through the ears of the character. What impact did the other people's words have on the character? What impact did your character's words have on others? Uh, what situations did your character make his or her business? What smells affected your character and how? What beliefs did your character share with another character? What song symbolized the character's philosophy of life? What is the character's work ethic? What situations led to this belief about worth, work? Uh, what conflicts does the character engage in? Why do these conflicts influence the character? What or who does character love and hate and why? Describe the character's good side. What does the character try to hide about him or herself and why? What things or people bring pain to the character and why? What does the character do for entertainment? What are the character's jobs or talents? Where has the character been? Where is he or she going? And how has the character been affected by these travels? So two sentences that answer the question and include a reason for every single box. Okay, and that's it. That is your entire assignment over your book.
Okay. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to email me, you know, reach out. Uh, let's see other things I wanted to talk to you about. Um, adopt a senior. The, on Facebook, the community feels really, really bad that y'all are getting screwed out of everything. And so people want to adopt a senior and give you a basket of goodies, basically. So encourage uh, your parents. If you have a Facebook, you can, uh, you can nominate yourself to be adopted. Right? But the group on Facebook is called Adopt a GPISD Senior. So I highly recommend at last check, there was like 1,600 people just offering, you know, to buy y'all stuff to make you feel better about the situation that you are in. So I encourage you get your parents to put your picture up there so that you can be adopted. It's a nice little gesture. I hope you have had a fabulous Easter. I hope you have a good week and don't hesitate to reach out if you need anything. Okay. I love y'all. Bye.